Hi, it's 8.07, and we're not really having a good day. My dad was treating us like fucking shit last night, and with Caleb not having a job right now, and neither does my dad, like, he needs to fucking understand, like, it's gonna take us a little bit of time to get all this stuff and everything, and he needs to get off his fucking ass and start looking for a motherfucking job. Caleb wants to go help Roman with something, and then he's gonna bring in the cat litter, change the litter boxes, that way my dad shuts the fuck up, and yeah. I don't know, but I'll catch you guys. Caleb's in, or Nazifa's in the tub. She made a mess, as usual. So yeah, Caleb will be cleaning up her. Um, he'll clean up the crib when he gets back. I'm just in charge of her in the tub, so, yeah. Like, Caleb's not mad at me. Like, by any means, like, him and I have been in a really good place these last few days. Like, with him being home. Um, like, yeah, it sucks. But, like, <clears throat> him and I have grown closer. And yeah, I'm in my bra and underwear. Don't. It's fine. Um, I'm watching the Vampire Diaries, by the way. Today's uh, Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day, you guys. Um, I also wanted to say Happy Veterans Day to my Uncle David who passed away. So, yeah. Anyways. Um. Him and I are getting along great. Like, him and I have been, like, bonding and just, like, um, treating each other with a lot of respect, like, helping each other out and everything. And I think that's exactly what we need before this baby is born. Um, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night at all. Like, but I'm in a really good mood still. Like, I'm in a really good place. And... We are just trying to just stay positive and just keep in mind that everything is going to be okay at the end of the day. We just gotta work together and stick together. And that's all that matters. Because family is all that matters and family is all you need. So, yeah. But I love you guys and I'll catch you guys here in a little bit. Oh, laundry is going by the way. Carl is out. Um, Leia is out, Stormy is out, but her babies are not, um, so yeah. Hi guys, it's 1118, litter boxes are changed, trash, we're basically cleaning the basement. Um, I'm helping Caleb clean, I picked up the hallway, picked up the bathroom a little bit, he's working on the living room right now, I gave Ziva some toys, Amrith is good. I'm about ready to fold this basket of laundry. It is 11:19. I'm still watching Vampire Diaries. I love you guys. Oh, he's taking out two bags of trash. Let me know how my dad's mood is. Can you bring me a pop? Bring you what? A pop. Could you guys hear him a bit? Hey guys, so it's 11.28, we're still cleaning and everything, my dad's outside. I think this is the perfect opportunity for Caleb to go get the vacuum and everything. He's got the filter outside. Oh, never mind, fucker, of course he does. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my camera from falling over because I'm still in my bra and underwear. That's kind of the way I live now, um, at least for the next two months. So I want to talk to y'all about like where I am mentally and... What symptoms of pregnancy I'm feeling in this third trimester, and just basically where my mental health is at, um, and where my like relationship with Caleb stands. Caleb and I are great. Like ever since he 
and basically got fired from Subway and he's been home and he's been looking for another job preferably one that doesn't complain about how much you are on your phone um, and doesn't keep you there until someone comes in um, ever since then him and I are in a really good place in our relationship we communicate more and we talk about a lot of things especially what bugs us um, we talked about um, every other night doing movie night which tonight is movie night so he gets to just like I wanted to go back and forth on who gets to decide movies and everything but I am really bad at deciding so Caleb gets to pick the movies he knows what movies I will watch and what movies I don't but that's after we get everything done of course like when we're settling down at night I'll be, gone. I'll be leaving at 320. Interview? Uh, Driftwood. Yes. Uh, yeah, I called her at, like, 2 after 11. And at 11.24. Hello, Caleb, this is Danny from Driftwood, and we spoke on the phone earlier about your application. Would you be able to come in this afternoon at 3.30 for an interview? So if he gets this job at Driftwood, he'll have to explain, hey, I have a pregnant wife and three kids and everything can, like, schedule hours, be flexible and everything. Um, he'll handle all that. He knows what to do. But where I'm at, uh, but where I am at mentally, despite everything, hang on. Sorry about that, guys. My husband decided to call his freaking mom when I was in the middle of recording something, which was very rude and very disrespectful. So, where I'm at mentally, despite everything going on in my personal life, um, which you guys don't uh, keep an eye on the community page on YouTube I updated y'all on my grandpa and how he's doing and he's not doing too well um, he is dying of cancer dying of kidney failure significant kidney failure and he's also dying of Parkinson's two of which will kill him before the other even starts affecting him cancer and the kidney failure um, and despite the fact that it's been a year since my grandma has died this Despite my parents getting a divorce and me having to deal with the constant fighting between those two and despite the fact that my dad's been a royal dickhead these last few days, I am pretty okay mentally. Not even gonna lie. Uh. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry. That was rude. Um, I've been okay. I mean... It's been challenging, um, trying not to stress myself out and trying to remain calm for my kids and for my husband and for myself. Um, but overall, I'm doing pretty okay. Ziva is great. Amrith is great. Um, Caleb is doing okay. Um... He has been pretty stressed, um, especially since he lost his job at fucking Subway. Um, well, he didn't even technically lose it because they never technically fired him, but they just stopped scheduling him. So, hopefully this interview goes well at Driftwood and hopefully everything works out and he gets the job. Um, I feel as if Caleb will because he, <coughs> he applied for the hostess position and if you guys don't know what a host is, you want to explain? You greet them, give them menus, sit them down. Just as long as you have good attitude food. and everything, you get paid by the hour and you get tips. Basically like Subway, but better. And he's got a great personality, especially when it comes to being fake around people, so he's got this. He's got this in the fucking bag. He's not even worried about it, but... 
hopefully everything works out for that. Um, let's see. What else was I going to update y'all on? I don't remember. I don't remember. What else was I going to update them on? Um. Oh yeah, my pregnancy. <laughs> um, what symptoms I'm currently um, having at like this far along. I'm currently 29 weeks and five days pregnant. Um, and I have experienced her just moving around and kicking a lot. Um, I think I've been experiencing Braxton Hicks. It's hard to tell because she moves around a lot. So I can't tell if it's her just like moving around or if it's actually Braxton Hicks. Um, I've been extremely gassy, bloated, my appetite has been fluctuating. My weight is at like 98.3, so I've lost a few pounds um, because I'm hungry and then I'm not, and then I'm hungry and then I'm not, so I haven't really been eating all that much. Um, my sleep has been shit. <laughs> um, what, like, what I'm planning on doing today in this video that you guys will see is um, washing Jalen's clothes, having Caleb put her clothes away, um, packing her hospital or her diaper bag, um, packing my hospital bag, and packing Caleb's hospital bag. Now the diaper bags are already in the car, already ready to go, um, and that's a good thing. Because we just want to, like when that time comes, we just want to load the girls, drop them off over at Sarah and Henry's, and then go to the hospital and have this baby. <coughs> that is what we plan on doing. Um, so having the diaper bags already packed and ready to go, um, especially since you can come anytime after the 30 week mark, um, is great. So that's what my plan is, and I'm Officially, um, well, unless my unless Caleb or I tell my dad to bring down more clothes, um, I'm officially caught up, meaning I can officially start washing Jalen's clothes. <laughs> <coughs> and start um, getting everything ready to go for her. So, that is really great on my part. We have a laundry basket in the bedroom and in the hallway, um, and they're not even full yet, so I'm not even going to worry about washing any of it until they are full. Um, am I nervous? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? I mean, I'm going to have um, a, a newborn in literally less than two months. Um and then I have to figure out how to maintain my love for all my kids and everything having three kids. Like, I have two toddlers, a three-year-old and a one-year-old, and then I'm going to have a newborn. And I hope that when Caleb, if Caleb gets this job over at Driftwood, his hours can fluctuate and everything. I don't want him to work nights, mainly because I don't want to deal with three kids at night by myself it I feel like that would drive me insane I can handle it throughout the day because I'm with my dad and my dad will hopefully gladly help me out if I'm feeling stressed or overwhelmed but knowing him probably not but I do have a good support system so either way I will be okay um, if they need him to work nights that's okay but absolutely if and only if they need him to um, like, I'm not picky when it comes to these things, usually, but having three kids, especially a newborn, like, I just feel like I wouldn't be able to handle it. <clears throat> Caleb and I are doing amazing, you guys. Like, I can't tell you and I can't express enough how great our relationship has been. Um, we are in a lot better 
of a place than we were when we had Amrith or Ziva. Um, we're communicating a lot more and stuff, so our relationship is just great. <clears throat> um, Amanda is doing okay. Um, her and I are close in due dates. Hers is January 19th. Mine is January 22nd. Um, she did invite Caleb and I to the baby shower. And I did find um, another diaper bag. So I think we're going to give Amanda the one that CG gave us. Um, and then fill it up with like clothes and stuff for her baby and everything. And then just do that and have it and just like explain to her like this is all that we could do. Um, I'm sorry, but, like, we don't have money at the moment to buy actually anything from the store for her baby shower. And she did post on Facebook what she needed for the baby. So I'm going to try and at least include, like, one or two items of that. But, yeah. I think that's all I needed to update you guys on on this portion. Um... I'll catch you guys when I start washing Jalen's clothes, I guess. Hi. Caleb went to his interview. <laughs> he also left to go get some mochas. So, I'm home alone with the girls. Good news is, though, my dad's not bombarding me with laundry, mainly because he doesn't know that I'm caught up. And I'd like to leave it that way. That way I get the opportunity to wash some of Jalen's clothes before... She's born. I can turn that back to Max. better it looks with him because he needs to like respond to do it. Not saying he's not, but I don't understand what I'm saying right. I don't know why. I just want him to get the job. Like I like him being home and everything, but spending too much time with your significant other is a bad and it's not great I love him right now but too much time the clothes that I'm washing are newborn to Three to six months, zero to three months in there. Fill the rest of it.
Okay. He ended up shaving. Um, I think I'm uh, shower. Like actually shower. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Just actually shower. And then, um, actually shower and I'll catch you guys after I'm done. Hi, so Caleb didn't get the job. I'm done with my shower. I've been just laying in my bra and underwear. A little bit because baby is hurting me. Um, I told Caleb that there will be other jobs and everything. He's gonna call a few other places tomorrow and everything. Finding a job during the fucking winter time is like fucking possible. And they want someone with experience for server, so driftwood not happening. Damn, but it's all right. Maybe that job just wasn't meant to be. There, happy squeals. But I'm gonna go in the laundry room, which you guys will see, um, and continue to go through Jalen's clothes. Um, it is currently 4:01 in the afternoon. Um, I organized my drawer area over there. Um. So, um, my dad wants to give my mom some Christmas stuff that she doesn't have room for, so I'm assuming that when she picks up Zoe, he's going to load some of that up in her car. I don't know if that's going to be a thing, I just know my dad, so yeah. <laughs> um, Caleb's running the Safeway. For taters for supper, they're having pork steak, taters, and something else. Um, I asked him to see if Safeway has my bread, which they never do. I'm currently watching Vampire Diaries. Should be almost done. Today is movie night for Caleb and I, so I wonder what we're gonna watch. Um, Y'all will see. Um, yeah, I don't know what these videos are, to be honest. All I know is that I vlog and I come up with a title later. Even if it's just a random title, because I really don't have much to upload in November, if you guys can't tell. <laughs> I'm kind of desperate, and we don't do decorating for Thanksgiving. We just kind of just wait till Thanksgiving shows up, make the meal, people come, they come, if they don't, they don't, and then clean up with leftovers in the fridge, and that's it, and then we decorate for Christmas. And then the Vlogmas videos come out. So if you guys have any ideas on how to make Vlogmas um, a hit. Um, and uh, not like Spooktober where it was just shit. Let me know in the comments below. It is 6.23. Caleb already cooked supper, he already ate, I told him what I wanted, he, um, is, like, my food should be almost done, he got a job with a tree cutting company that I'm not <coughs> so happy about, but I guess it doesn't matter what I want, it pays well, so I'll just keep my opinions to myself. But, um, I'm officially all caught up with laundry. I decided to bring in all, like, um, bring in all of Jalen's stuff from the laundry room. So I'm gonna have Caleb bring in that basket for me when he gets down here with my food. So, that way he can lock up Carl after he feeds and waters him. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.